So I'm Rachel Holiday, uh, founder of Coldwood House. Well, I've personally experienced having nowhere safe to live and that was um, a sc scary time in my life. We also know that the longer somebody is homeless, the more issues they will develop and the harder it will be for them to get back out of it. So we need to catch people right at that beginning of, that, of, the, of their homelessness issues. The people that we see that come in and they're, they're broken and they feel like no one loves them and no one cares about them and they're invisible to the world and we build them up and we do love them and we do give them everything that they need to be able to achieve what they want to achieve in life um, and, it, and that is beautiful in itself. I didn't see us um, you know impacting people's lives to the extent that we do. I thought yeah we'll be somewhere where we, someone can stay and move on but you know you look around all the thank you cards we get and letters we get from our residents you see the difference in them. We've had people coming here literally on death's door and by the time they leave, they're healthy people going on to a better life. And that's been absolutely fascinating to watch that. You can't imagine, you know, we're here, we're helping, but you can't imagine what, what they go through. Um, it isn't just the fact that it helps to reduce crime and what have you, but these, these are people, do you know what I mean? The, the, the people, um, they've got heart, they've got their own, their own feelings. Some of the, 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 the reasons that people come into this hostel uh, that's resulted in being homeless, uh, catastrophic, really, really traumatic stories that we have to help and support them with. I've got 10 rooms in our hostel. It's very, very rare that we're not full. Yeah. Well, I was one coming here. I was living on the streets uh, one night and then I was going to my, my brother's house. But then my brother had to come in because of COVID so I had to move out. And I was just going to sofa the sofa and then the sofas were out. All they've done is give me help and uh, making make me move forward, really. Yeah, they've done everything for me, and if, if I wasn't in here, I'd probably be dead now. They've got us on courses and everything. Everyone's friendly as always. It's brilliant. My mum's telling me how proud and that she's, she's got her old son back and all that. She says she's not worried about me one bit now, because I've turned the corner, basically, so that makes me feel proud as well. So and that's all down to these, these workers. I think the people in it make it so special. The people, if you've got that bond, like we all have in here, I think it's marvellous. Where, where do you get home, a shot like this? You don't, do you? It is, it is brilliant.